So you're on your Android TV device and you just notice that after a while, things just become very slow, very sluggish, trying to navigate around, click on things. It just all seems to be a little bit slow. Now I'm on my Nvidia Shield Pro, but on any other Android TV device or Google TV device, like the Chromecast, like the TV Stream 4K, like the Kin Hank G1, all of the different Android TV boxes, they all have the same issue where once you have too many applications open in the background, they can slowly grind your device to a halt. Now, the best way to find out exactly what's running in the background is to use this free application called Background Apps and Process List. Let's open that up. Now, can you believe it? On my NVIDIA Shield Pro, I actually have 55 user applications open in the background. And I can confirm this is accurate because if I press back, let's open that up again we can see 55. So that number is definitely accurate. So everything from the CW application, which I was testing out to award VPN, prime video, these things are all slowly, slowly consuming memory and valuable CPU cycles. Now to close these down, which is the best way to free up the memory, we need to force stop them. So for example, if I want to force stop this, we do TV, I can click on that and click on force stop, click on okay press back now and we can see we now have 54 applications running in the background similarly I can close the next one or stop press back and we now have 53 so doing it one at a time definitely does work but you can imagine the more applications you have open in the background it will take time to close all of them now you can also select multiple applications inside this application but again, you have to go through every one, one by one, and select for stop. Now, there is a much better way to do this with one click, and that's to use the TDUK App Killer. Now, this application is available directly on the Google Play Store, as well as the Amazon App Store. I can open it up. I can click on connect to this device. I can allow the connection. Make sure you have got TCP debugging or USB debugging enabled in your developer options. I'm now connected. And I can now actually do a count of those total applications. So let's click on that. It says 53. So let's back out of this. Just to confirm that it is fully accurate, we can again see 53. So the TDUK app killer will give you a proper accurate representation of exactly which applications are running in the background. If I go back to that again, make that connection. I can also set up a whitelist, which basically says any applications that are in the whitelist do not close them down. Like for example, if you add your VPN to the whitelist, when you force stop all applications using this option, it will not terminate your VPN or maybe other applications like maybe a mouse toggle or a privacy door, something that you want to keep on running, you'd add that to the whitelist and adding is as simple as clicking on that and then turning on these options here. So here we can see, for example, aerial views is on. I'll turn that off just for a test. Keep scrolling down. Downloader is on, let's turn that off as well. ExpressVPN is on, let's turn that off. Okay, so that's all of that, let's go back. Let's do that count one more time. 53 applications, and when I click on four stop all apps, I'm hoping 52 of those will be instantly terminated. 52 because this application will not terminate itself. So now the moment of truth, we'll do three, two, one, go. And in less than a second, guys, 52 applications, those background applications have been properly forced stopped on my Android TV device. And I can confirm that now by going to exit. And if I now open up the background apps and process list, we can see straight away all of those applications, those 53 applications or 52 applications have been closed with one click. So the application definitely does what it says on the tin. And if you are looking for the easiest way to free up memory, to close down these background applications to save your valuable CPU cycles, I definitely recommend checking out the App Killer. It does have a one-time fee of $1.99. You purchase it once, you can then install it on as many Android TV devices as you like. Even if you have 10 devices, you buy the application once, you can install it as many times as you like. And you also get free upgrades for life. So anytime I add in new features, like for example, the whitelist was a new feature, you do get those free upgrades for life just with that one-time fee. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.